sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Out. Uh, yes, right, sorted. That was uh, that was technological te technological te techno it just all went wrong. All <laughs> oh, those lights flashing. Lights flashing everywhere. Yeah. Machines falling over. Skype crashing on us on the other machine, and just everything went. I believe the phrase is to hell in a handcart. It's one way. And here we are, Biggles, Algae, and Ginger. There's the three of us here. Biggles. That. Biggles. Yes, yeah, Biggles, yeah. Algae, and Ginger. <coughs> And we're here. <coughs> we're here. It's 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 going to be, isn't it? Yes, one of those nights. It's, it could could easily be. It could be brilliant, or it could be a disaster. Yeah. Well, let's hope uh, for the former. Brilliant rather than the latter. That'll be uh, no. Wacko. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Shall <laughs> we? Um, should we? Oh yes, we should. Yes, I think yes. we probably should. Ah, <laughs> uh, so we'll play the titles in, and how we go. I say, Algie, that was rather fun, wasn't it? <laughs> what you what you don't know is, as soon as we went to the adverts, Daz went to put his EVIC up on the little stand that's there for Daz to put the EVIC on. <laughs> Look at his face. And it fell in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> because Daz's EVIC just did a head it was perfect. Absolutely perfect swan dive. <laughs> Down almost into his glass of ginger beer because of good <laughs> lashings of ginger beer tonight. And, and, and his bubbles wobbling precariously. Oh, there. <laughs> there's <laughs> absolutely nothing worse than your bobo wobbling precariously. Is that right? Having a wobbly bobo. No, no. Yes. One would have to have a wobbly bobo. Uh, yes. yes, absolutely. Well, so yes, there we go. As promised, as promised. Larry Curley and more. Biggles. Algae and ginger, all with cravats. It's getting warm with these cravats on, isn't it? Yes, a bit. Yeah, it, it does. It feels like a pair of uh, windsiet pajamas around your neck. Doesn't it makes it? a good handkerchief for when you cry too much as well. Is that right? Yeah, you just pull ah. that and dab your eyes. Have you been? <laughs> Not yet. You've been having a little bit of a week. Oh you? yes, have had a bit of a week. Well, what you do? You so you just you take your cravat end out. And yeah. <laughs> dab and then you put I your never cravat. Thought in. Of that. Well, yes. That's what it's for. It has many yeah. uses. Well, a cravat, I mean, generally you speaking... You can blow your nose on it, I suppose. That's <laughs> well, yeah, it has yeah. been done yeah, before yeah. now. I'm what, I, I shouldn't do this. I'm watching chat again. And apparently could never wish the barcodes win, but we could do with you losing. I don't know what that means. Me neither. I, I think know. it's got something to do with football. Oh, right. So I wouldn't know. And we've got a team called the Barcodes now, like. I believe that's Newcastle. Oh, right, OK, OK. I've never heard them called that before. The Barcodes. I've never I've heard, heard them called that I've heard some funny names before, yeah. about the Barcodes. <laughs> oh, I'm taking this off. <laughs> and just, just for the obviation of doubt, I went hunting around. I've been all over the place looking for cravats. And you kind of get them. You just kind of buy them. You never kept that one from your school. Days. No, it got oh. hoid. It got absolutely hoid. Yes. Apparently, according to Dave K, that's one of the names, the barcodes. They have other names as well, apparently. Oh, I'm aware of them. But it's, it's, it's going to be a packed show tonight, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> if we could work out uh, what the hell I we're doing. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you might... haven't confided in us. A uh, pardon? You haven't confided in us. Well, that's true. We haven't. <coughs> but there's a box. Yeah. And it says for Keith. Some sort of joke, this. I don't think so it's a joke. All oh, right. As a result of last week, because you might recall, 
Look, remember that? Oh, I do, yes, yeah. Look yeah. at the eyes, look at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right, <coughs> I have made sure I have two shirt pockets. Just in right. case you didn't have any, but it's, it's been a Prezi sent for you. Really? Yes. This has come up from Safer Sigs and it says for Keith, and you will not. Why me? I don't know why you. Well, look at Puma Dad's there. That's it? all right. He's then. fine. Uh, He's got his bobo to play I've with. Got <laughs> bobo, yeah. So there you are. Can you get into it? Thank it's you a Prezi from Dad. And oh. I think Chat want you to open the box now as well. Yes, please. take the money or open the box. Uh, right. Do you need some scissors or have you got nails? Uh, I'll, I should be able to. Uh, Here we go. Look at this. Is parcel <laughs> this. No. We'll scissors. Scissors. Get the scissors out. Scissors out. It's like Christmas, isn't it? It is, yes. You know what my granddad and used even, to say? Uh, the for keys on the, on, on the front. My granddad always used to say at Christmas, he'd say, Oh, would you have it? He'd say, What's in the parcel? He'd say, What? Backy, I think. Pass. Sugar, I doubt. The shit be gone when I opened it out. Beautiful so wrap. Well, it yeah. is. I think it's wrapped by Daz's own fair hands. Yeah. Really? Aye, mm. I think the stickum's licked by his own fair tongue. I don't think Daz personally wraps a lot of things either. No, oh, no, yes. well, would yeah. you? No. No? I wish I could wrap my Christmas presents like that. Well, I wish you'd buy his one. You've got okay. enough of a seven <laughs> months of practice, so... Absolutely, I think we'll zoom in on Keith, because yeah. this, this is fascinating, this is. There it is, there's Keith. See, we can fill 60 minutes now. Zoomed in on. We could play Passy the Parcel, yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like, dum da 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 Passy the parcel. Boris Acker wants a present too. He says, "He's murdering." He. I know. Wait a minute. King, I couldn't. I couldn't be with you on Christmas Day, Keith. I would have to open your presents for you. Right. I'm going. I, I just go on. Go on, Ted. Go on, Ted. Go, on, Ted. go on, Keith. Go on, you darling. You must. <laughs> what you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? got? What you got? Oh. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Oh, I think you've got to open that out. Oh, I think so. Definitely. I think so. Yes. 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 Oh, look. I, I, look, <laughs> look. <laughs> I'll get the paper. Look. I'll get all the paper. Yeah, this is a bit of a challenge. Is it? The scissors again. I scissors think. again. <clears throat> so you shrink wrapped it. Uh, oh, I'm used to things shrinking. It's the card weather. Quite. So does this box has come up for you and me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go on, I've opened it, you can have a rip Has it. this just been delivered, has it? It was delivered by Alfie oh, between 1429 and 1529, and he actually arrived at 1454. I took specific note when I signed his little doodah with the what's its name thing, Kipiffy. Okay. Yet again, I'm getting all the paper here. There's a rabbit <laughs> off here somewhere, you know. Can you get it? Look, I can kind of get it the box now. Wait a minute. <laughs> it, it's obviously one of the... Do you want a hand? I'm just seeing if it's sell it here. No, no, it's not. Is it not? Mine wasn't. Excuse me. Oh, get a wobble on. Get your fingernails in. Your nails must be longer than mine. They are. Left-handed guitarist. Hey, I'll not go too far. <laughs> oh, look at that. Show the people Abs what you've got. That camera there. Absolutely beautiful. Can I have a look, look at, at one? Uh, well, yes, yes. Oh, look at yeah, that. Look at, look at stainless steel board. Not gorgeous. That's eh? fabulous. That yeah, yeah. beautiful. Well, look. <coughs> just really my, nice. Just my size as well. Exactly. Well, I'm not bragging. Uh, I'm not bragging. There's I, no I way I'm not bragging. I think they should sure. advertise it as Keith Pocket size to be to be. Honest. Keith Pocket size. Yes. Yeah. Go on. I'll give well, you that will one back. Be watching. I would imagine he well, will be. Daz is watching. Daz is watching. Well, yes. thank you very much for that. that that's much appreciated. And I'm go and I'm going to say a big thank you too because that means that the two I've got are safe. Oh. <laughs> They're not going to go yeah. wandering. I didn't want that. <laughs> the, the, you'll notice how I keep on putting mine back in my top pocket. I was really impressed with that. 
You have been as well. And yeah. what what people don't know is last week I gave you a black one, didn't I? Yeah. Yes. So I had yeah. a I had a black evod, so I gave Keith a black evod and mm -hmm. it was full of um custard. the vanilla yes. custard, wasn't yes. it? Now tell everybody what you thought the vanilla custard. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. Thoroughly enjoyed it. A yep. rounded flavour, not too strong. Yep. And actually, that was good. I've just thought that was Gillis's custard. Well, even my wife was impressed with the uh, with mm. the smell. Vicky yeah. was impressed. She was. Yes. Oh my goodness! Yes. And that was that was Gillis's. That was Gillis's vanilla right. custard. That was Gillis's. Well, yeah. Gillis needs to be congratulated. Well, he's there. He's in yeah. chat. Yes. Congratulations, Gillis. Congratulations, Re Re Gillis. Really nice. I was quite addicted to it. Quite addicted. To the extent that when he came in, he was asking where he could buy some tonight. Yes, yes. I was. Yes. You never know next week you might have a bottle waiting. Oh, on shit. <laughs> no, I could easily get hooked on that. Yes. Yeah, that, that, I agree completely. That's a really nice gesture. Matt. Thank you. There you go. See what happens when you work. I'll tell you what, I'm getting yeah. hot as hell here. That, you know, this thing, this meeting I had, meeting wasn't a meeting, it was a get together oh. that I had with Gillis. It's caused all kinds of havoc. Oh, that, yes, in the. Uh, with the, the old the, photo the, and. Weatherspoons or whatever it is. Uh, weather, I've got to give it to Weatherspoons. Gillis is there and he will, he will confirm. We were sitting there chuffing away like a pair of chuffers. Just having a good chuff and a good gas, and it was fine. Nobody said boo to a goose. Nobody asked us not to. Nobody said anything. It was all cool. Cool is the word. It was, but, but it's caused all kinds of problems. Because it sent us back into the past, having a look at that old photograph with the cravats and yeah. the leather yeah. jackets and all the rest of it. Hence, you know, the leather jacket on. And I've been to see a mate of mine a few, week, few days this week that I'd, I looked up, I went and found him. He's a tattooist. All oh, right. He's a good lad, good lad. Right. Good lad. You'll never see me getting one. Never gonna. I've taken my cravat off. Winter Rogue's asking, where's my cravat? I've taken it off because I'm so hot at this snake. I'm gonna have to. I like very this. painful tattooing. Yes. Really? I don't know what's my really, idea yeah. ID where you're getting that from, mate. Like. Never see me get one. How many sessions did that take? What? Just one. One session? Oh, I just <laughs> It must have been an all day one. Oh, it took. Quite a way. It, it's really impressive. Quite that. All right, no? ah, yeah, yes. Oh, it's a marvelous job on the, the colouring. Oh, it's, ah, it's, yes, it's, yes. The you way like it? it? Yeah, it smarts a bit, but you know. You know the way they've shaded it. So. Yeah, absolutely. So how long did it take? Uh, about twenty minutes. <laughs> twenty minutes. Oh, he's quick, oh. man. He's dead quick. Yeah. Are you not tempted, Dad? I've got one. He's got one. Look, look, look up there. I've got two. Look. I've got oh, one. Oh, 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 get oh, get, right. get, get, get right. Daz oh, come up. Daz right. come. Daz come. Look, look. What there is you are. Right look. Art is, is oh, Niels, does you know? Yeah. I got that oh. done in Grand Canaria about five years ago. Oh, do, you, oh. do you know that's, uh, is that Japanese Chinese or Filipino? That's Celtic. It's Celtic. You know what Celtic. it means in Celt, don't no. you? I'm not going to tell you. Well, I've got Chinese on my shoulder, but that's just this one, which is meant to be my name, but everybody tells it's the number 25 with chips. It probably is yeah. either 25. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The yes, things you do. Well, well. The things you do. It is. I so I'm not sure whether the tattoo goes with the cravat. You think not? Uh, probably not, no. no well, the, the Shall I get rid of it then? No, no, no. I, I mean, can't I can't. Get, you can't get rid of it. Oh, you can't? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. get rid of it. Dead easy to do. Tell comfort. you what we'll do. Tell you what we'll do. Um, because people need to... Saturday night, we'll tell you about this Twitter bomb thing. Yes. And you'll, you'll be able to see on the bottom of the screen, down there, that we've got the hashtag, hashtag EU ESIG ban. Right? Yes. And when, when people tweet on Twitter with that hashtag, we can see it, and it's coming up on the bottom of the screen. Right. So we'll we'll see who's doing what and seeing what to who to where and to when and to why, and it's all good stuff. I mean, there's there's been all kinds happening, and in fact, some MEPs, I'm told, have been retweeting the more um, what's the word? Like you know when we've when we've tweeted and said thank you for listening and and, yeah. and stuff like that, they've been retweeting it. 
Right. Mm -hmm. So all of their MAP colleagues, because obviously they all follow each other. Yeah. So they'll all, they'll, they've all been kind of swapping notes on that. So this is all good. Right. Because there's there's uh, there's one or two of the MAPs is, yeah. have come out and said, you know, we're going to vote against the ban and stuff like that. One or two. Well, you know, it's it's little by little. It's step by step. It's the thin end of the wedge, and we've just got to bang it home. Mm -hmm. Not right, does absolutely. You, you've just got to bang it home, and that's that's what's going on. But we're also we've got this thing. Um, Andy Sutton's doing um, smoke without fire, which is a, a a media campaign, and we want people to get involved. And I'll play it in. And while I'm playing oh, it that's in, it's a good campaign name. That's smoke, smoke without, without fire. fire. Yeah. It's clever, I like in that. It. It's clever in it. It's I clever like in that. it. How to light the tabs when A matches. Yes. That's yes, smoke without fire. So there's there's a like a trailer, and it, this is this is a taster of what's to come. Right. And you'll enjoy this. Right. Not a lot, but you'll like it. Meanwhile, I'll get the scrubbing brush out and sort this out. Read an article in New Scientist um, a couple of years ago um, about electronic cigarettes. First, I'd ever heard of them and I never went back to smoking. I hadn't planned on even cutting down. Four years later, all I use is an e-cigarette. I get my nicotine from that, I don't harm anybody else, and as a really good byproduct, I'm gonna live longer because I'm using an electronic cigarette. This consists of an electronic inhaler that vaporizes a liquid into an aerosol mist simulating the act of tobacco smoke. But the difference is that while cigarette smokers smoke for the nicotine, but die from the tars and gases re released by the burning of tobacco, e-cigarettes deliver the nicotine in an aerosol form, crucially without the hazards that accompany tobacco smoking. The likelihood is it will grow and it will usurp tobacco smoking. Yeah. And that strikes me as being a damn good idea. And I think if, if government can say that, so much the better. Who could object? Well, Mr Deputy Speaker, it seems the EU can object because it's bringing forward a draft tobacco products directive which proposes to regulate non-tobacco nicotine-containing products, including e-cigarettes, by classifying the majority of these products as medicines. And every product with more than four milligrams per milliliter of nicotine would have to be classified. It means that there would be a de facto ban on these products. They're not medicines, it's, it's a uh, recreational nicotine product. These things represent a way to carry on smoking. They represent a middle ground, yeah? Because in the past, as a smoker, and I know full well having been one, you would either have to quit using some of those NRT products, which have a 93% failure rate, or you'd have to die. It's in all likelihood it's true that e-cigarettes will be less dangerous than the real thing, but we really don't know. They are totally clueless. I, I bet if they watched or looked at the, at the past five years to, you know, history in vaping, even they would question themselves. European consumers ex expect the products they buy to be tested and proved to be safe. We must regulate e-cigarettes just as we regulate other nicotine-containing products as a pharmaceutical product. It's a way of life to, to me because I don't want to go back onto cigarettes. What the EU is proposing to do now would make it very, very difficult for me to live longer. They would take 15 years off my life. I think they're banning it. My own personal view is they're going to ban it because they're getting no revenue from it. Because if people stop smoking, they're going to have to get the, the funding from somewhere. I do, do believe that the removal of the hazardous tar from cigarettes while still providing the nicotine that uh, smokers look for means this product uh, should be uh, studied very closely and should be saved uh, from this forthcoming EU directive. There are so many hundreds of thousands in the UK alone, millions of people around the world whose lives have literally been transformed by these products. It's the future. <laughs> I am an asthmatic. When I switched I went from using I was using one asthma spray per week now I'm using one every three months if I'm lucky and the only thing I've done is is change my nicotine delivery system 
which is these. And you're not going to take that away from me. So there you go. That's that's what is is going to be happening. So that kind of thing. Who's put that together? That's been done by Andy Sutton. Really good. It's excellent, isn't it? Excellent. And yeah. that's just with footage he had to hand. And what what we're <coughs> asking people to do is to get onto um, Facebook forward slash Swaff campaign. Yes. Or go to the Swaff um, YouTube channel and upload their story. And Andy's going to cut all these things together. Right. to make stuff that we can put into various different places to get the campaign heated even more. Mm. Right, I, th I think that's excellent publicity. I, I, I do. Really. I do. I do. I think it's brilliant. So I just thought I'd play that in as a reminder to everybody. And don't forget, Saturday night, Andy's got another Twitter bomb going on, but we do need your suggestions, so check out the forum. Forum.vapertrails.tv. It's all there and it'll be all good. We're going to take quick adverts, and when we come back, it's going to be, it's going to be that, that there. That's what it's going to be. That is GG Ithaca, is what that is, and that looks horrible with that great big piece of paper there. But that's a GG Ithaca. And earlier on today, I said I was going to be covering this, and I asked on Twitter, do I do it live, and put it together and make it work, or do I pre-record? Because obviously if you pre-record, you can spend the ages redoing it and getting it right. Yeah. Yes. So what did all the people on Twitter say? Pre-record. No. Live. Do it live. Oh, right. So we're right. going to be doing it live without the aid of a safety net. Right. That's straight after the adverts. Now I've got to find the adverts. It's going to be one of those nights. We'll be back in two minutes. There we go, and we're back in the room. I'm sorry, everything just seems to be a bit disjointed tonight, but as you heard right at the top of the show, we've had all kinds of technical issues tonight, which we don't normally have, and I'm blaming Skype, because it's just not playing on the max, and we rely so heavily on Skype for Cat to do the production and, and everything else, and I've actually only got one instance of Skype that's running. At the moment, Microsoft is making a right pig's ear of it on Macs. And, it, and it's it's caused all kinds of problems. That's what all the noise was in the pre in the pre show, with Skype deciding to just go crackers and pick stuff up that it didn't ought to have been and banging it where it shouldn't, and it caused two machines to crash. However, we're back on course. So let's go to close up you can, and let's have a look at this. Uh, are you ready for this, Keith? 
Yes. Looks like some sort of miniature trophy, doesn't it? Yes. Well, that's because I've got it on. Uh, I've got it on a base. Let's go to close you'll be coming and see what we've got, and try and get a decent picture. This is the Ithaca. It's the the next stage on from the Penelope and the and the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got you. You've just got to get a look at just look Keith's, the camera. Keith's face at that point in time. You can just see the eyelids go down. I'm sorry. <clears throat> right, where were we? Right, back to the plot. So the Ithaca in, in this guise, this is as it's come, direct from, from Greece. I haven't done anything other than take it to bits and put it back together again. I've done nothing about making it work. I'm just going to try and get this picture to look a little bit better. This is from Greece. Is it? This is from Greece. It's from GG, the Golden Greek. So right, let's let's run through it and show you how it all comes together. First thing, it's not just for GGs. All right, mm -hmm. this bottom bit here, as you can see, this would screw straight into a into a GG. That's your centre post. The centre post, I'll point out now in case I forget, is adjustable. So you can screw it up and down to suit, and you've got about seven mil of adjustment there, which is a lot. Okay. Yes, Keith. Um, so when you put that base unit on, you've then got a straightforward 510 connector, where, and you can easily adjust it so that everything will work quite nicely, which is always good. Right, so let's take that off and get the thing to bits and actually get it, get it work, and I'll try and put things in the order that you need to do it in. Now, bear in mind, there are no real instructions with this, Keith. Are there not? Right. No. <coughs> so you've kind of got to know <coughs> what you're doing. And it comes in all of these parts. Um, and I'll try and point out the stuff as I go through it. I'm gonna say straight away though, the build quality is absolutely tremendous. These threads are smooth as silk. They absolutely are. Tank is in a is in three parts, as you can see. I've pulled the two top parts off together, but they're separate. You've got a little slightly frosted window there, which allows you to see what's going on on the inside. Let's get the mouthpiece assembly off. Daz, you will tell me if I go off camera, won't you? Yes, I'll tell you. And then we take out this whole centre part, the base the base of the uh, the tank off, and this separates off as well. Like that, and this is as it comes. Now this is completely live, so as you, you can see, just by looking at it, there's no marks on it, no nothing. It has not been used. I haven't done a thing with it. So we'll just get this bottom end off, as you do. I'm nervous as hell, you know. <laughs> I like to practice these things before I do it for real, and there's. That's the work and bits, if you like. Now, one of the first things you will notice, I hope, is that there are two channels, mm -hmm. which means you can dual coil this. Yeah. Right. right? That means two heating elements, and your microphone's falling off. Two, co two coils in there, and it's the Pen Penelope style, where the negative is steel all the way down, but the positive is ceramic. And that means that you are using resistance and no resistance wire. Right. And there's no screwy bits at the end this, at this time. Everything happens just in with the grommets, in with the, the O-rings, if you like. And it's got a nice notched piece here so that your wires are not going to get caught up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up single coil. All right? Because I think I know how to do that. And we'll start... I can see this going horribly wrong, but let's take out time by the guardroom clock. Thanks, Keith. Um, it's got the, the wick already with it, and as, you, as you'll probably be able to notice, it's exactly the right size for going in the channels. All right? Mm -hmm. So I need to pull myself some wick together, and I'm going to need two lots. So I shall cut it to that length. Oodoo. Doink. It's a night for scissors tonight, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yes. I had hoped everybody everybody would have been a lot kinder and said, no, pre-record it, Dave, and then I'm shaking like a leaf. <laughs> I am. 
But never mind, if it all goes horribly wrong, it all goes horribly wrong. Now, it's been provided with one um, coil wire and it's, it's already pre-made welded. So that's the length there of the, um, the resistance wire, the bit that's gonna heat up and the rest is no resistance wire. And because I'm gonna wind this as to one coil, I'm gonna wind it onto one wick, but put two wicks in. Right. Because obviously if you don't put two wicks in, the juice is just gonna come flooding up the channels. Right, okay. Right. So we'll wind the coil and let's see how many turns it gives you in the, uh, so that's one, two, three, I'm still on camera. Yeah. Four. Down a bit. Five turns. Yeah, right, please. there we go. Five turns. And now we need to place that into one of the channels, like so. Mm. There. And then, and this is going to be clever, because we want that no resistance wire against the ceramic. We don't want it coming out and touching anything else. Yeah. And then that just catches in the little oh, notch. I'm you got it? You. Yeah. So that just catches there and then wraps around like that. Mm -hmm. All right. And I can snip that straight off and then push it down behind that o-ring yeah all right now that means as you can see there that the the wire is not going to go anywhere close to where the negative is yes then i shall take the other bit and that because it's the um the negative side is all metal that just needs to lay in that metal channel and it will automatically make contact Right. Now the second thing to do is to put the other wick in. Alrighty? Yeah. And that will now feed. If I push it across, that will feed the first wick. Right. So the two are touching. And now uh, we screw this part on over the top. And I want to get it down. To the point where I can then snip off the spare wicks. All right. Yeah. And also this spare bit of wire. Wire. Snip. Snip. Just making sure I haven't got the the positive wire right. Now, while I'm screwing this down, I'm not sure how, oh, it is very obvious on camera. There's a slot there, mm -hmm. and that slot will end up over a pair of channels, and that will allow juice onto those channels. It's called the auto feed, I believe. Right. So we'll take that down, making sure nothing's getting caught, and nothing is getting caught. As you can see, that positive wire is quite separate and well away from the uh, the negative stuff. So we'll just screw that down a little further and then into the base, all right? And at this point, when I was playing with this earlier on, I found it as easy <coughs> to just tighten that up so you can just see yeah. the wicks. And that wick isn't going anyway. It's not, is it? It's completely firmly in there. It is. Yeah. With that done, then we can get the base back on, like so. Before I go any further, I'm gonna put the 510 connector base on this also, by the way, has airflow control in it. Right. If I screw this knurled bit back, you will see there. There's the air There's hose. the air hole just here. Mm. So that you can control the airflow via right. that. So for anybody that doesn't have a GG, you've got GG style airflow. Yeah. 
And then what I'm going to do is get my trusty Darwin, stick it on the trusty Darwin because I want to check resistances and stuff like that. And before I do that, I just need to put a little bit of juice onto the coils, like so. Doesn't matter if it makes a mess because it's going to get filled with juice shortly anyway. And having put it on, I'll knock the wattage back, press the button, and it's not making contact. Nope. All right, let's try something else. You've got your bobo handy. Yeah. Oh, I've got an EVIC. Oh, you got the EVIC. I've got an EVIC. We'll do the EVIC instead. Whoops, everything's fallen over. I'm all fingers and thumbs. Go up the big camera, right? And I'll screw it onto the EVIC for the time being, just to check where we're at. And it's showing 1.2 ohms. And that was on 5 watts. Oh, now it says no atomizer filmed. Right, which means... We've got a short. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh, no, because it'll tell you it, it, it's a short. If it was a short, it would say I had a short. Yeah. Well, haven't got a short. What we've got is I need to bring the connector down a little bit further. Which is easily done. And then screw it in. Fingers crossed. Check again. And it's showing open circuit. Atomizer short. I've shorted it somewhere. Right. Take it to bits, David. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't practice. And back to close you up, you can. I knew I should have pre recorded it, Keith. All right, let's have a look and see what we can see. <laughs> Looking at this, there's no short there. So the question is, where is it shorting? And it can only be, I suppose, that the wire going down... That's caught. That's it. So it does screw all the way down. This is an adventure, isn't it? Right. I can't see where that would be shorting. Not at all. So let's put it back together. <coughs> It's all gone quiet. No pressure. None whatever. No. Nope. You'd love this, Keith, wouldn't you? Keith, yeah. wake up. No, no, I'm, I'm watching. But, uh, Fascinating, isn't it? You could put it that see, way. See, when the rogues just said in chat while you're doing that, pre-record means that they wouldn't be able to see how to fix the problem if they ever had it. It's Do a you very know true what? statement. That's very, very correct. Yeah. That's very, very correct. It also kind of assumes that I know what I'm doing. Absolutely. And I'm here to tell you I don't, necessarily. I'm screwing like a good nail. <coughs> I can't see any place at all where this would be shorting. I have to say. Just not at all. The only possibility is down at that base. And it doesn't help that I've put that blessed thing on the wrong way around. <sighs> Don't you just love it when a plan comes together? That's a absolutely. I can see what's happening here. A little bit of wire is just getting caught in that slot. I need to push it down. It. Yes, I put it on the wrong way around. Why didn't you tell us, Keith? Well, I was going to, but I thought, you know, keep out of it. 
best to let him let, let him realise his own mistake. Yes. Tell you what, while I'm yeah. unscrewing this, we'll go to the uh, the second lot of adverts, and uh, we'll be back in just two ticks. I won't do anything important before we come back. See you in two ticks. And we're back in the room and uh, I've just screwed the base back in and pressing the button and we have it. There we go. Yeah, we've got it. I'm running at, it says here, 2.8 ohms. I was going to say 2.8 ohms. 2.8 ohms is there. We actually have 2.8 ohms. And it literally was just, it just needed a little bit of finessing to get it all sorted out. So, before we go any further, I'll put a little bit more juice on it. Because the next test, as always with these things, is to screw the mouthpiece on. Because the mouthpiece, being metal, could cause a problem. And again, put it on if there are any shorts. Or if it changes anything, we'll see. Press the button. No atomizer found. Go on, David. Well done. I need to make sure that the connections are correct. Screw back together. Whose idea was this? That was yours. <laughs> atomizer short again, it says. Which means that there's some wire sticking up where the mouthpiece is getting to and yes you can see it's proud so that just wants pushing down like that so you just make sure it's not proud of this otherwise it'll touch and let's try again atomizer detecting yes we has atomizer detection it's showing 1.2 ohms and it's heating, right. So having done that, we put the top back on, the mouthpiece unit back on, and that should not create any shorts now, we hope. I think I should say that this is not for a beginner. <laughs> no atomizer found, again. Might it not be best if you ran this as a sort of serial over several weeks? Uh, could well be the case, but this is this is what people find. This is what people come up against. <coughs> Let's see what that says. Atomizer short. Mm. Unscrew the cap a bit. And we're back in. Atomizer detecting 2.7 ohms. And I try it again. 
still 2.7 close that down atomize a short so I've got a short I'm touching the positive somewhere when that cap goes down I need to make sure it's all right down push everything right in right atomizer short again this is not the easiest piece of kit to get working I've got to say no atomizer found just goes to show doesn't it you're enjoying yourself there Dad absolutely atomizer short it's not happy it's not happy at all. Take it to bits again. But the main cam. You can see Keith's absolutely. <laughs> I'm just sitting here, you're silently watching. Fascinated. Well, I'm blown if I can see where the shorts are at. I really cannot see where it's going to be shorting unless it's right up at this top bit here. In this part here is the only place where I can see where it might even be possibly shorting. Everything else looks to be exactly as it should be. Let's put this 510 back on. Screw it back into the EVIC. Atomizer short. There's something it doesn't like, and I can't make out what it is. Why does the top of your EVIC look different to mine? Because I've got the stainless steel setup on mine. All right, okay. All right, let's carry on with this and see what we can see what's going on here. And I used to think Genesis at least were diff difficult. Right, as we can, you can easily see, the wire is down the channel where it's supposed to be. And there's no way that can get out and touch any metal until it gets to this point here. Now, to the best of my seeing ability, it's not touching anything it shouldn't be but I'm gonna make sure just by tightening it down alrighty and then screw it back in and I'm gonna just do without that other piece of wick for the minute until I can sort out where the uh, where the issue is it's uh, people that are not into JJ's are going to be really really upset by this I think <laughs> right that's level with that screw this in right that's right down screw that in Put it back on. And try again. Centre post wants to be down a bit, I think. Hey. You know, if I'd been pre-recording pre this, I could have made it look really, really easy to do. Yeah. That's the, the, the whole thing about doing this live um, is that you can see exactly what's going on. Right, atomizer short. It's shorting out and I cannot see a reason for it to short out. Not in any way, shape or form can I see a reason why that should be shorting. Unless it's shorting across here, onto that. Is that metal there? Onto the base unit, mm -hmm. yes. That's the only place that it can short that I can see 
But that's shrouded by all of this. Yes. It's shrouded by all of this. And I cannot see any way, shape or form. Ah. It may just be. That might have sorted it. Now let's try it again. Alrighty, back into the base. You will tell us if I go off camera, won't you, Dad? Yeah, absolutely. I'm keeping an eye. Thank you. Because once I've got this in, I'm just going to find a way of slotting the uh, the other way in. Atomizer short, it's not having it. It is not having it. Mm. And I cannot for the life of me work out why. There's no way that should be short and it's not touching anything it shouldn't be touching. <coughs> I can see no reason why it would be shorting out. Uh, unwrap that wire. Put it on again. It is fiddly, I've got to say that. Alright. So, just to confirm. That's across onto there. And wrap it in. No need to screw. Make sure the wire is properly tucked under, which I'm doing. If I get this right this time, I think I'll do a chair dance. <laughs> right, the wire is not touching the centre post. We have contact that side. No issue there. All right. Put the other wick on, just to be on the safe side. Working on the basis that it's going to be right this time. Wish me luck. Hold your breath, everybody in <laughs> chat. This is real life happening here. I'll screw it back together. I could understand an open circuit mm. if that negative uh, side wasn't making any contact, but I can't understand a short because there is no way for it to short that I can see. And there's no other O-rings. I mean, what you see is what you get, or what you see is what I got anyway. Right, I'm gonna screw that down until that O-ring is covered. All right, because I think it's the, the, the pressure of the O-ring. All right, the base is there, and I'm showing through. Screw that down, not too far, that's cold. <coughs> Put the base on, this time, fingers crossed. All right. Atomizer short. I wonder if it'll try and Darwin again or will it just be the same do you Well think? no if it's if it's shorting it's shorting and it looks as though it could be across here. It could be shorting straight across. Mm. And again, I don't understand why that would be the case. Yeah, if you look, I don't know whether you'll be able to see but that centre post is very, very close. Very, very close to the outside. Um, and it looks as though it wants to be further over. It kind of looks as though it wants a, an O-ring, if I'm to be truthful. I'll try it. No atomizer found, so that's good. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that uh, turn that brass pin round. Put 
put it on the other way on. It looks as though that's just off centre, if I'm to be uh, absolutely honest. We'll see whether it makes a difference trying it the other way around. That doesn't look to be anywhere. It's not as close, but it's not central. No atomizer found. <sighs> Do it live, they said. <laughs> Can't see what chat's saying. <laughs> Are they happy? Yeah, the the. Are they reveling in my misery? Dave K says, I think we can conclude that he didn't get an accurate reading. <laughs> Atomizer short. Jeff's asking Keith to grab his fluke. Atomizer short. To what? Grab your fluke. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Um, cut back to main cam. This is, uh, this is not good. Let's see if I can find a fluke. Or anything kicking about. Anything will do. Right, time for the fluke. I was trying to do it without the fluke. Don't you know? Mm. Set it to warms and let's see if we can track this all down. Alrighty. Back to close you up, you can. So, if we take the metal body. To the centre pin, there is nothing. And let's just check it. Ohms. Beep. There's the fluke beep. So, to the body, because yeah. the whole of the body is the negative, and to the centre post, there's a short. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. So now we need to unscrew. that which is the base <coughs> and then go again to the body and to the centre post and there's a short there's a short how is there a short where is there a short I have two minutes, Steve. Okie dokie. I'm just going to pull that, that wire off altogether. <coughs> I hope everybody can see. Right, and again, to the body. Mm. And that's without the wire. There is a short between the um, the centre post and the body itself. It's actually shorted. Right. It is shorted to itself, and I will try and show you. There's nothing in it, all right, as you can see. Daz, if you can just hold that red probe for me, please, yeah. and push it onto the body, all right? Yeah. So that's onto the body, and the centre post, there's a short between the two. There is, yeah. Okay, right. But the main camera, so I'm going to need to disassemble all of this and try and find out how it's managing to short itself to the main body. But it is, that's what's occurring. It's shorting itself to the main body. I need to disassemble, and that will be a pre record. And I'll do it and show you it next week because we are fast running out of time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, well, you've been asleep. Thanks for enjoying the show, if you have. Um, from from Keith and Daz and myself, till next week. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye. Where's me? <laughs> it's been one of those. Bye, everybody. Bye.
Seat the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. 